Sometimes I get to do things that are really cool. Like today I was interviewed by Diane Halfman with Spa Life and she teaches how to create a life by design, not by default. And I can totally resonate with that because that is one of my mission is to help entrepreneurs create a life by design and not by default. We talked about how, what, what do you do when you feel over, overwhelmed? How do you break down goals? How do you um, not feel busy and actually be productive and get more things done and just coexist with accomplishment and like harmony? This is episode number 23 and I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to my world. Well, it started in about 2008, no, 2006. I was in business for myself for about three years and I was working really, really hard. Uh, I was missing out on the people and things though that meant the most to me and I couldn't find that harmony or that balance. And so I had really big goals and really big dreams and I, I knew wholeheartedly without a doubt it was gonna happen, but I didn't wanna have to keep sacrificing my most important things in life, which was my family and people and the relationships. And so I had these huge goals and it was like, okay, Liz, how can you start working smarter and not harder? So I took these big, massive goals and I said, okay, well, what do you want to accomplish this year? But then it still seemed, I wasn't moving fast enough. And so I wanted to get to these goals quicker and feel that accomplishment. But then again, I was still sacrificing my family and my friends. And so instead of looking at what I wanted to accomplish for the year, it's like, okay, what do you want to accomplish over the next 90 days? Let's start at 90 days. Because I was, I was longing for that sense of accomplishment and that fulfillment of, yes, I'm getting things done, I'm scratching stuff off. So from, even from taking it from a year to 90 days helped tremendously. So from 90 days, I started breaking it down what did I need to do monthly? What do I need to do weekly? And therefore, what do I need to do daily to give me my entrepreneur spirit, that fulfillment, um, without sacrificing my friends and family? So making little micro goals allowed me to have that satisfaction of accomplishment and it freed up my time. So I started working smarter and not harder and being very, very intentional where I was spending my time and it changed everything. So when I'm breaking down my goals or dissecting my goals, I actually use a planner, pen, pen and paper, and I add stickers and make it all fun. And I spend a lot of time in there. And what I do first for my week is I'll put in everything that I personally have to do or want to do. If I want to go to coffee with my girlfriends, I'm going to go have coffee with my girlfriends. And so then my work is planned around my life. So I find little nooks and crannies where I can do one activity. And I know this activity is gonna get me one week closer to my monthly goal. And it's all those little things that do make a big difference. And it can be overwhelming, but I know, and I've coached many women, if you can just get one of those things done every single day, you're gonna accomplish so much more than than trying to do like 10 things in one day. Just pick something and just do it. And if you have extra time, do another one thing. Because it is really those little things that make a massive difference. So don't try to do 10 things in one day, just do one thing in one day. So I really encourage people to pay attention to how you're spending your time. Um, because a lot of people are like, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, I'm so busy. But you're not being productive. Like there's a huge difference between being busy and being productive. And because you will fill the time with something. And so it's just, it's, it's keeping an eye on your end result. What do you want to accomplish over the next 90 days? Okay, then again, you know, what is it this month? What is it this week? And those, the action steps that are gonna get you there are the things that, that you, get, you get those things done and then you go have some fun and you give yourself that permission to go have lunch with your girlfriends or get up early and go have coffee. But I also, I encourage them to put in their calendar first the things that they have to do. Doctor's appointments, maybe they have a full-time job and their entrepreneurship is on, their business is on the side. Um, so putting in when they have to work. So identifying the time that they actually have to work their business 
because if you can I clearly identify I have one hour today I have three hours tomorrow um, identifying those windows of time where you can actually be productive and filling them with things that are income producing are going to get you closer to your end result so it's really I encourage them to pay attention to how they're spending their time and um, when they're doing things like watching television which that could be quality time with your spouse but is it really <laughs> is it really so because because if it's not really and it's just wasting time and you're not you know working on that relationship and spending the quality time and you're not building your business you're being busy like so I build and teach women to build business through social media and they fall they're they fall into the scroll hole and all they're doing is scrolling through Facebook and their husband's like what are you doing I'm working Honey, that is not work. You are in the scroll hole. You are in your zone and it's a time sucker. It takes so much time away from people. So I do a thing called brain dump and I will put the, I will put the one activity down in the center of a blank piece of paper. This is the thing that I need to do. I'll set a timer for five minutes and I just write whatever comes to mind. Some of the stuff is so ridiculous that I'm like, why did I even, why did that? But I just write it because then it helps me trigger other action steps. So this could be as simple as one little thing that I need to do for the day, but then it's like you don't forget anything. And so then you're, then you're able to pick and choose and organize and prioritize and you're able to accomplish so much in such a short amount of time. And I think people don't even, people don't even know about it, I think. Like one of my um, mentors was feeling a little bit overwhelmed and we work together a lot. They produce my vlog. I have a vlog that comes out every Monday. and. He was just feeling overwhelmed and he had tons of stuff on his plate. And I was like, you've got to slow down so you can speed up. Go get a blank piece of paper and just dump it. Just write it all out. Set a timer for five minutes and just go to town. And like he came back out of the conference room and he was like, that was amazing. <laughs> I'm Liz Medley and I believe in you.